and we are back as we head towards our let's call it co-main event of the evening. It'll be Nick Wiley up against Luis Cabrera, both making their HCS debut here inside the circle at 185 pounds. And I think I think we might have a winner. Oh. Best outfit of the day. I think we might as uh, we enter the circle here in a singlet, but not just a singlet, rainbow leopard singlet. So that's definitely very, very exciting. I think I had a pencil case in that pattern back I, in the day. I think I know. Yeah, I think the I know. Lily Frank, those, yeah. The Lily Frank. They had the matching book covers. That yeah, and they had like yep. the unicorns and everything. Absolutely. It was fantastic. Absolutely. And we're and here we go. And Luis Cabrera in the black and yellow. Nick Wiley in these exciting rainbow leopard singlet. Now I need Cheetah, one. Leopard, whatever pattern. Always exciting when a singlet gets broken out. I love it. I've known Luis's jiu-jitsu or Luis's jiu-jitsu for a really long time. Um, and he's always very impressive, always very, always very technical and on point. Kind of like a 10 blade knife during surgery. So he's very like precise. And as I say that, goes right into a leg lace for some sort of a double trouble right into a butterfly pass. Beautiful transition there. Luis out of the uh, Bronx BJJ. Wiley out of Sharpshooters Grappling Club. Okay. Wiley going in for that butter half. <laughs> Franco, Franco, you're coaching Luis, both out of Bronx BJJ. Sen sending uh, good vibes and f swift recoveries to Andrew over there. Hopefully, he's sitting there clutching his rib while coaching his teammate. Luis with that beautiful mount execution, collecting the legs at the bottom, right? This prevents any type of bridge. This prevents any type of recovery. And as he just climbs up, he uses his length to really just manipulate Wiley's body at the bottom. Happy high question. Happy high question. Cabrera being encouraged to utilize that pressure and you know the pressure's on when the person on top's back is, their spine is completely like leveled and compressed down. A little over two minutes in. Good bump. Now when you wear something that exciting, does it put more pressure on you to win? I think so. That's why I've always been wearing just all black. <laughs> Definitely coming there making a statement, but it's one of those things you kind of want to be able to back it up. Absolutely. Opa. It looks like we're gonna just a little, a little roll reversal here. Wiley seems, I mean, with the singlet, right? You have to assume. The man has some sort of a wrestling background, and you can see how he opens his base while he's on top. Cabrera is very versatile. He's very fluid, whether he's on bottom or whether he's on top. So I want to kind of see how Wiley plans on passing the long legs of Cabrera to get into a position where he wants to. Cabrera maintain pass centers. You'd have to assume that Wiley uh, wasn't looking to be on his back in that last position there. No, and just being on the bottom of someone who has really good pressure is super exhausting. So whatever pressure you have left, especially understanding that there are overtime rules coming up, that's mm -hmm. it's hard to process. And we're back to our feet where I sits right away. 
Wiley being patient with his passing, understanding that any type of exertion of energy might cost him for the overtime. So if we go to that point. A steam lock set up and quickly abandoned. Wiley just trying to collect the legs of Cabrera, just trying to utilize that as like a super pressure pass. Cabrera doing a really good job of that arm drag to try to break the position, but Wiley's base is just extremely wide and strong. Minute left here. First, look, pretty much the first real opportunity we've seen for Wiley here. I say that Luis Cabrera able to fight right out of that. I saw, I saw, I saw. And we're back to our feet. Cabrera right away is set. 30 seconds to go. Be careful able to fight out, but that was a dangerous look. Yeah, you gotta mind the feet, especially when you have a technical player on the bottom here. 15 seconds left. And that is our regulation period as we will head to our first overtime. And the coin flips to green, so. Cabrera's choice. Wiley wipes the face. That's important. <laughs> Cabrera's taking the back. Minutes of work, and we are underway. Body triangle immediately. Cabrera doing a really good job of trying to force the head, his head under Wiley's head. You could tell by Wiley's expression that that body lock, that body triangle is absolutely tight, and it's absolutely miserable. Cabrera utilizing his length and legs to just switch back and forth, just when you think you're safe. Now he's the arm trapped. 20 seconds here. Base crush. Base crush. He has 15 seconds. Press of ride here as he transitions back to the body triangle. Short time, five seconds remaining. Four, three, two. And that is a ride out for Luis Cabrera, an impressive opening right out there, setting himself up nicely here for the second go. Wiley taking a minute. Wiley will also take the back here. He has to ride him out or find the submission. The submission would get him the win though. But if Cabrera escapes, then it's- It's over. It's a, yep. Cabrera quick to the escape. Moving very quickly. Three, two, one, and there it is. That's the escape for Luis Cabrera. Very quick eight-second escape there as he wins in overtime. Your winner, Luis Cabrera, at a Bronx BJJ.